Hello Rayclast, what is up? Sambash here with a new Path of Exile video. Rather than one of my full detailed build guides, this video is going to be more of a sort of general unscripted discussion of Stormburst and how it performs in 3.3. This skill got some significant damage buffs in this patch, which was really nice. It didn't get any mechanical changes. I thought the skill was pretty nice mechanically since it came out. But as a lot of people were very disappointed to find out on the skill's initial release, it just did not do enough damage to be worth playing. In the background here, you're going to be seeing some gameplay footage of the Occultist Stormburst character that I put together here in Incursion League. A um, couple reasons I'm not making this a full build guide uh, and more of just a discussion. First, I invested a lot into this character, so it's just not really a practical way to do the build. For much of the player base so I'm not going to go through all of my gear and stuff in detail here. Um, second, I forgot to create a path of building link for the character before I started selling off all of its gear. My bad on that one. I'd originally intended this to be a full build guide but forgetting to create a path of building link kind of solidified that I wanted to make this more of just a discussion. So we'll get right into it. Um, as you can see here in the background, Stormburst actually clears really well now. They buffed the damage by just an astronomical amount. I think the skill does like 350% more damage than it did previously. Um, it clears really well. The AoE on it's really nice. In the clear footage here, my character is using faster projectiles to just shoot them out there faster. And the bursts blow up and just clear things really nicely. I'm on an occultist here and using some curse on hit gloves to apply curses, so I'm getting the chaos explosions which boost the clear. You could also use an impulses or something for this, would be just fine on a life based version. This is a low life occultist using a chevrons. The, like I said, the other reason I didn't really want to make this into a build guide is because there's a lot of investment into this character. Um, I'm using dual void batteries, which kind of make most spells viable just because they give you so much damage uh, but they're quite cheap now actually the void batteries but six link shavs and stuff obviously not going to be within everybody's budget but as you can see the skill clear is really nice now the balls fire out there really fast when using faster projectiles and they actually hit a really big aoe and this character has very little aoe investment on it um, i can post a passive tree for this character in this video description I'll probably do that because I do still have the character on for passive tree, but no full path of building link because I forgot to save one out before I dismantled the character. Talk a little bit about how Stormburst works. Stormburst is basically the spell equivalent of Barrage. That means as many projectiles as you can stack onto it are going to fire in the same cast period. So there's a helmet enchant for an extra projectile just like there is for Barrage. The main reason I decided to go with a low-life occultist on this character, this is like the first energy shield character I had played ever, pretty much, and I've been playing Path of Exile since closed beta. But I decided to go with energy shield because I really wanted to use dual snake pit rings to get two more projectiles on my storm burst, and I just didn't want to try and get enough life on a character using two rings without life and using dual void batteries. I just thought it was going to be really hard to get a sufficient amount of life that's why I decided to go with low life and I was really surprised to see how cheap a six link shavs was and again this is not for most players this is for somebody who no life's it in the first couple weeks like me six link shavs was only like five exalts at the time so I was like oh what the heck I'll try going low life and see how it happens originally was planning chaos inoculation but things just fell into place for low life you'll also see some guardians in here um, the damage on Stormburst, if you manage to stack all these extra projectiles like this, is pretty good. I've got a Dying Sun going as well, so a lot of total projectiles. Obviously swap in slower proj for bosses and just kind of pulse out one barrage of them at a time. And you get really nice damage with the projectiles and AoEs together. Um, I think there's probably a lot better ways to build the character. I just really wanted to go all in on the projectiles with the Snake Pits. Which is why I ended up with the Occultist, but I think there's a lot of other ways you could do it. But basically the point of this video is uh, Stormburst, really nice clearing skill right now. Okay single target, it's definitely not going to like jump into the upper echelon of tier 1 meta skills or anything at this point. But if you tried Stormburst before and gave up on it but were hoping for the skill to be better, it definitely is now. If you like the skill mechanically, I would strongly suggest jumping in and trying another Stormburst character. 
Because at least for just general play and map clearing and stuff up to end game, it's really solid. It's definitely not a real great end game beater. I might throw in a couple of clips of Uber Elder here at the end of the video. I tried him twice and was unsuccessful and didn't feel like spending any more currency on sets to do him. I think it's doable with the build. Um, the second fight actually went really well for like the first half of it, but then I ended up just letting way too much of the ground get covered in squid goo because I was not managing those guys nearly well enough. So the arena just became basically totally uninhabitable and I had no more room to move around. But the damage is there. If he did this as some other kind of a build, maybe as a scion using like the slayer unending leech from the scion and some vault pact action, maybe you could make this a little more sort of tanky and survivable for jumping around and doing this sort of fight. But overall, Stormburst, pretty strong now. I realize this isn't maybe the full guide that some of you who are watching the stream expecting, but for the various reasons I mentioned, this just didn't matriculate into a full guide. But Stormburst is pretty cool now, so if you tried the skill before and were disappointed with it, I'd suggest trying it again. If you've never tried it before, it's really fun. I think mechanically it's a really interesting skill and it just kind of plays differently than most other things while still being very effective. So I definitely think it's worth playing. There will be more videos coming soon. I've got a couple other builds sort of in the works, but I've been really busy in real life. So that's why uploads have been pretty sparse lately. If you like this kind of content and want to see more and you want to see future build guides coming or check out a lot of existing build guides, feel free to look at my channel, throw down a subscribe and turn on your little notification bell if you want to see when new videos come out. I'll try to get more content coming more regularly as I can, but real life is just really hectic right now. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in Rayclast. Right